Right. Let's do this. I just got back from the Bricklayer's Arms in Luton, where I watched Plymouth 3, Luton 1. I am furious with that performance. I feel so bad. Every single Luton fan that went down to Home Park on a Friday night, they would have had to have taken so much time off, long journey back. They'll probably all be getting back at two, three, four in the morning. The performance tonight was absolutely disgraceful. Firstly, I'll start with the positives. Fair play, Plymouth. Fair play, Wayne Bruni. The goals, they were sweet hits, other than the third one that was sort of a pea roller. But we just gave Plymouth the space to do whatever they wanted tonight. We did. And... <sighs> Something has to give at Luton Town. I said it in our first post-match reaction, which I record straight after the games. I said it after the Burnley game. The writing was on the wall from that game. And you could see that something wasn't right. With the tactics, with the personnel, the reality is the squad is very good. On paper, the squad is fantastic. The formation doesn't work. And I said it at the time. Everyone has been saying online, the 3-4-3 doesn't work. So you know what? Rob Edwards changes it. It's like, you don't want to play the 3-4-3 anymore? That's fine. We won't play the 3-4-3. What we'll do is we'll play a derivative of the 3-4-3 that makes it so much worse. And that's what he's done. This box midfield where we play two in midfield, two in front, it leaves the forward so isolated. It leaves the forward up against two defenders or three defenders when someone plays a three at the back. It doesn't work. And I've said before, I am not a UEFA accredited coach, but I could figure out how to play against Luton. And when a team has three days a week to identify and come up with a game plan to play against us, we're very easy to play against. It's so obvious. Now, I know Rob Edwards isn't watching this, but Rob, cut the charisma, cut the charming stuff. Embrace the fundamentals. You've lost all the goodwill that you had at Luton Town pretty much overnight. You have coaching qualifications. Use them. You can see, you have your eyes. You can see that it isn't working. Change it before you lose your job, mate. The fact is, we didn't start playing until we were two goals down. And this is a recurring theme from last season, where we would give teams a head start. And it's been a hangover that's bled into this season. Sheffield Wednesday, give them a head start. Then we start playing in the final 10 minutes. Victor Moses took his goal very well. But why did we only start playing when we were already two goals down? And then the third goal, oh, the third goal. There was so much space for Sissoko to run into. Two men on him as well. No one puts a foot in. Look, this goes back to the season we were promoted. And Rob Edwards has that goodwill because he was the manager that took us up. I firmly believe that if Nathan Jones hadn't been tapped up by Southampton, you could see when the performances started to drop off with NJ. You could see. And those performances came after the Watford game. That game where we lost 4-0. You could see it. Because that was clearly, and it lines up with reports, that was when NJ was tapped up. And you could see he'd lost interest. The only reason it was a departure that got the blessing from 2020. Uh, in my opinion, it was no different from the Stoke departure. The only difference was NJ was on a long-term contract, so there was a lot of compensation. And because there was the World Cup break coming up, so the club could reassess what was going on, get the right man in. Rob Edwards did the right thing at the time to continue 
what NJ had built. That promotion was built off a solid defense. We had Ethan Horvath in goal, who was rarely troubled. And when he was troubled, more often than not, it didn't go too well for him. We saw that. Although we were joint highest clean sheet keepers in the league, Ethan Horvath still had the highest errors leading directly to goal in the championship that season. The amazing defense that we had masked and papered over all those cracks. We weren't the most prolific in front of goal, but we had a solid defense. Now we don't have a solid defense. There are gaps in midfield because we're, we're continually playing this system that doesn't work. Anyone can see that a 3-4-3 leaves a massive gap in the middle. Just go back to the 3-5-2. Rob, you will lose your job if you don't change it up. How do you not see this, Rob? Like, maybe you're surrounded by sycophants. I don't know. You Obviously, you are because you brought in Richie Kyle, who you've worked with for years. You brought in Paul Trollope, who you've been friends with for years. But I'll ask the fans this. If Rob Edwards looks like Neil Warnock or Steve Cooper, would he be getting the same slack that he's getting now? No, he wouldn't. The reality is Rob Edwards has signed a four-year deal. He's far too expensive to sack. Unfortunately, the board have to make a decision whereby they need to have a frank discussion with him and say, Rob, Go back to the fundamentals. Do what got us promoted in the first place. That's a 3-5-2. Play direct football. Just do it. Because that worked. On paper, we have great defenders. Why are they all standing so far back and giving so much space? And this is a recurring thing. Barry Bannon had the freedom of LU3 to hit half volley. He could have taken it down. He could have taken a couple of touches. He could have had a cup of tea. But he decided to hit it the first time, and it was a brilliant goal, but no one was around him. Today, Plymouth could have had a few more. Every time they cut in space, there was abundance of space around the box. No one tracking back from midfield, no one pushing up from defence. You play a three-man defence, there's got to be a man covering, there's got to be a man pressing. There just was none of that. And as a former centre-back, I simply don't understand how he can be so lax defensively. How he can't instill a defense first policy in his defenders. And look, I'm not in the business of digging out individual players, but there were two guilt edge chances for Elijah Adebayo today. The first mistake from Plymouth, where Elijah was through on goal. Obviously, he's a player bereft of confidence at the moment, but the reality is then take him out of the team, give him that space. Don't just play him into confidence. Look, the first one, a Plymouth defender slipped. And Elijah was through. He got caught up by the second defender. And look, you're lucky if you get one of those a game. We had two. There was a second one, back pass, that was straight to Elijah. He was through. And he hesitated, hesitated, hesitated to take the shot. And that would have changed the complexion of the game. No one wants to shoot in our team. No one. We had so many corners. And they're all predictable as well. I thought we brought in a new set piece analyst. Please just do your job, mate. Come up with some new set pieces. We had 25 or 30 corners. They were all so predictable. Send it to the back stick, head it back across, try and get something on it. N nothing's happening. It's an absolute disgrace at the moment. These were the games that we were meant to play ourselves into form. Plymouth. Oxford. Oxford are going to come to Kenilworth Road. They're going to have their way with us. I can see it. And then after Oxford, Sheffield United, Watford. Oh, God. We're going to get embarrassed at home by Watford. I can see it now. Middlesbrough, West Brom. They're going to get much harder. And you know what we need? I said it in our podcast, in the OK Football Luton Town show. I said it. If the philosophy isn't working, return to the fundamentals. And this is what Rob Edwards needs to do if he wants to keep his job. Return to the fundamentals. I'm absolutely fuming tonight. 
because it was an embarrassing performance, I feel, for every single person that went down there. And quite rightly, everyone on social media is absolutely fuming. Hopefully I've calmed down before the post-match phone in tomorrow. Thank God it wasn't tonight. Hatters, take care of yourself. And come on you hatters, because something needs to change right now.